That was an awkward. I went to throw up my hands, but I had to like do that. <laughs> <laughs> you do <laughs> you, <laughs> like knowing your space in these things. Yeah, is so funny. It, t- it takes a while. Hey, everybody. <laughs> What's up? August. We still have you here. We still have me. Longer than I now. thought. I, I really have thought I was going to go sooner. But anyway, here we are. Well, She's still cooking. You <laughs> still cooking. Still there. <laughs> uh, it could be like my, uh, like Avery, uh, she, I mean, she could have stayed in, I mean, she could have been in Katie's belly for another week or so. I mean. Is she still like that? She was so comfy in there. They had to induce her. Yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want anything. I just want her to. Just all natural. I feel you. Can we just have a can we? talk here and we'll just talk it all out? I don't know. But you're is, feeling good? You're ready yeah, for this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, ready or not, right? Right. But, um, is Avery still like that? Is she still kind of like a mama's girl? Like, would she cuddle and... She, you know, you know I don't know. Was that a sign of I, her personality? I want to say... Now, this... I don't want to be... I'm, I'm pretty sure she's a daddy's girl. If I, 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 I'm going to take great pride in that. Classic dad. Yeah. Comment. But, you know, I mean, she obviously loves her mom and uh, she's she's kind of a homebody. But yeah. That's she what likes I mean. to like, stay home and snuggle. Kind of like, and Yeah. Like indicative of her personality. You know? Yeah. Play my, my son was that way. Like he, I mean, he would still be up in there if he could. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's, Just, his, mm, that's him outside. Like he would rather cuddle. He wants to be held. He, that's, yeah. You know, my daughter was 10 days early, came on her own, water broke, the whole thing. And that's her too. She's like, mom, I'll see you later. And I'm like, oh, are you sure? You don't oh, wanna... yeah. You know, she's four and she's like running across the field to her cousin's house and just like, see ya. <gasps> just you doing know? her, yeah. yeah. So in de- they want to be so independent and it's great because you're like looking, you look forward to that, but then you just kind of, oh. Yeah. You're like, oh. <laughs> ow. So anyway, who knows what this one will be like. But. Anyway, we shall see. But that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, so if I'm not here next week, guys, that is why. You, you will, you, pr- hopes, uh, prayers, prayers to you uh, to, to <laughs> can, get through it. Strength, all, strength, we, exude strength to you. Yeah, Not that I, you need it. I like to do the emoji. I think about emojis when you talk about, I, I just oh, really yeah. want to like hit back on that emoji because I think that's still one of the funniest things is Corey. High five. Yeah, the prayer <laughs> emoji. <laughs> you were like, oh, it's giving a high five. High five. No, yeah. it's like prayer. It's emoji. prayer. Yeah, yeah. I think it, you got to use it in context, though. Yeah. But, but yeah, the high five. I still love that. Verse. I still love that. Prayer. Classic. What else do we love? And we love our presented kinetic. by sponsor. Yes. Kinetic home, kinetic business, kinetic, all the things, all the fiber, all the gigs. They're bringing gig. Their sales is going to be a gig city. Thanks to uh, kinetic here. It kinetic is. by Windstream. It is. It's. It's there, official. We're on a plaque. We got a plaque. It's official. We're official now. We've got a plaque. Um, but yeah, I'm a soup. I just, I just love them, and I love uh, Jen and Steph. But we have um, Steph decided to take um, some me time. If you watch the, there's a gay girls, um, uh, a bit that we did where she d- really uh, did that. But she, um, she, we have a stand in. Miss Madison mm-hmm. uh, is going to be with Jen for our part three. Now, things are getting, this is part three now. So now, you know, we're getting hot and heavy into it. We we still haven't seen the ghost pepper get hit yet. So That thing is the scariest of them <laughs> all, I think. I, that's what I would choose, but everybody else is shying away from it. My biggest fear is that when I do this with Robin, I'm going to get the ghost pepper. <laughs> I hope so. I'm and not lie. that's my biggest fear. And uh, get milk. Have milk ready. Have milk ready. To- the doors open to the bathroom. That way, I don't have to. Oh, I just run straight in. Uh, I'm really worried about it. But uh, you can do it. But we'll see what happens with these two girls. Next up is Jen. Jen Lindsay. She's going to be. She's on the hot seat. Will yeah. she answer the questions? Will she eat? Truth or eat, here it is. She eats. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome. Welcome back. Uh, it's it's uh, the past uh, month we've been doing this. The past two weeks you saw Mayor from Versailles, Mayor from Midway. Now we have our uh, title sponsors here, presented by sponsors from Kinetic by Windstream. Miss Jen Lindsay and Madison Hartog, how are you? Good, good. good. Nervous. <laughs> yeah, nervous, yes. Uh, we got uh, director of sales, and then you're going to have to uh, marketing. Regional marketing operations consultant. 
regional marketing operations consultant. I love it. Okay, so we are here, ladies. I've explained to you kind of what we're doing, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and, she, and <laughs> yes. you're, you're, you're in for, for Ste- Stephanie's on. She, yeah. She Stephanie th- got out of this one. She's not getting out of this. I, I saw the other, the last week. Good. We're, we're going to snag her on this. Good. Uh, so I'm going to reiterate for the viewers, okay, kind of what we're doing. This is truth or eat. Mm. We're going to ask you a couple questions. Some may be a little bit easy. And then I think we're going to try to hit you with a zinger that you can't answer because we want you to try these one of three different uh, or these, this uh, delectable dishes that we have in front of Haley, could we please unveil number one, please? Number one is going to be uh, dehydrated bugs, assorted bugs Lovely. from Thailand. Okay, from so they're Thailand. extra. So they're extra big. They're extra they big and extra. There's big. some a few crickets, a, a grub. What, does that one have goo? Oh, no goo. But wings. There's some wings. I and think that one looks like it has pus. And not chicken wings. Uh, it could be some leftover um, mm. salad dressing from uh, from the mayor. So you can have salad dressing, and and she and there's things over here for you to. We have water. We have milk because milk is going to help you with number two, Haley. A ghost pepper. Oh, that is dead. A, uh, a ghost pepper grown right here in Woodford County. So they literally will turn you to a ghost. If you, you'll die if you eat it. So I uh, hope you've die. made your amends and have your wills. Oh. That sucker will hurt. Uh, that's number two. Number three. Oh. Some people love it. Some people don't. It's tofu. Okay. That is so disgusting. The, the mayor's last couple of weeks, we couldn't decide if it was wet, if it was dry, if it was smooth or rough. We don't know. We don't know, where, we don't know really what it is. It's tofu. I don't know how so, we get in these positions. Well, we... we I'm subbed in for this position. Yeah, and it's not. a good week. It's a good week. You didn't get the mystery drink challenge. Mystery, no. I'll, I'll do that all day. <laughs> I, I feel like I would do drinks all day versus, mm-hmm. versus a bug. Yeah. Well, it, it, I, look, you have the water. You have everything here. So, ladies, okay. ask me these questions. If you, when you get it, when you decide to pass and you can't answer, we will get... Miss Emily Hicks over here, another of our assistants here, our producers on, on What's Up Woodford, to hand you the What's Up Woodford cup. You will draw the number, whatever number you get, you have to eat. Okay. Good to go? I'm good to go. Okay. So, Haley, uh, uh, rattle us off the first, the first question for Miss Jen here. Jen's going first. Have you ever gone over the speed limit? Have you ever gone over the speed limit? Pretty sure that is public record, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we can find that out. Pretty sure you could look up those tickets. They've not all gone away. <laughs> I'm old, so it's over a quarter. See, when you, yeah, we, that was forever ago. Yeah, uh, come on. Something okay, else. that was easy enough. That was easy enough. Uh, Miss Haley. Okay, I feel good. Have you ever forgotten to wash your hands after the bathroom? Forgotten to wash your hands after the bathroom. Okay, so I'm answering this. I'm going to give myself a caveat. I mean, the answer is yes. And that's disgusting. But I'm a mom of four. So, like, my bathroom times for life have been myself (laughs) and then four children, right? Let's set this up. There's a lot going on. Why are you disgusting, basically? I'm going to blame my children. (laughs) I'm, I'm blaming my children for my disgusting failure to wash hands. Right, but what we what we said was obviously pre-COVID. Since oh. COVID, I mean, how can you not forget to to wash your hands? And always here because the soap smells so good. Are my the you mahogany? Know, it's so good. I wash my hands. I, I don't like, even need to wash my hands. I wash my hands with so that. So lovely. What I'm a, gonna have to smell this if I have to eat anything. I love the mahogany soap in there. Mm. It's so great. Thank you for noticing. Oh my gosh. It's the little things. It's the little things. Um, oh. I can't take credit for it. It was, it was the wife. Uh, Wife or the mom? I can't remember which one put that in there. Both are wins. Both are wins. Haley, let's get that final question. What colleague do you like to work with the least? What colleague do you like to work with the least? They are all watching. They are all watching. And they will know. (laughs) They will know. Hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to have to pass. Let's, uh... I'm going to pass. Let's There's no good answer to this question. I should have went ahead and had the cup already out. Miss Emily, pass us the cup. We're oh. going gonna to choose our number for Jen Lindsay. Here we go. Drum roll. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh! Oh, wow. Number one. I get the bugs. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you get the you get the bugs, Miss Emily. Okay. So, wow. You get the oh, bugs. I don't want the juicy one. So Do ju- I have to eat all of them? Just just, um, just take a bite. So, okay. Haley, if you could pass us the, the plate. Mm-hmm. Number one. So, I just cut to some B-roll here. Uh, of some of the bugs we've got. Ooh, it looks like we got a nice... Is that a roach? That's a big grub. Ooh, that is a big, a grub? nasty grub. Look how big that sucker is. It kind of looks like a looks walnut. Like a little grasshopper there. You okay, can see I that. I think I could do a grasshopper. I don't know. Is that a hornet? I don't know what I, that guy that is. That would hurt. So, okay. So, we've had a close-up look. Uh, you have your steak sauce. You have... You have oh, there's uh, some salad dressing. That's Caesar salad and some... Okay. And some. What? And here, here's a okay, water. I'm going. I'm just doing this before I think better of it. Okay. Let's let's do this. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you have to get a good bite too. Uh, M- Mayor house. Mayor <laughs> Mayor Vandergrift from Midway uh, did a, a very good job. Uh, yeah. He he. Um, uh, <laughs> I should have had my mind. I was trying to make a sandwich. Okay, okay. You is want this to get the grub? That thing is ginormous, and this thing has a stinger. I'm not gonna put a stinger in my. That doesn't have it. They wouldn't. Okay. I think this is a cicada. Okay. All right. Oh, I think I think cicada. that's good. Sure. Judges, are we good with that is bite? That a good bite. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. And we have to chew. I can't just swallow. You, oh, you gotta you chew it up. Let's not choke. Safety first. <laughs> Teamwork. Safety. Right. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh God! Oh God! Did you all hear that? It was so crunchy. Oh God! It was so crunchy. Oh, it's like a little chalky. Chalky? Oh. That's interesting. Oh. Anything you want to add while she chews? No, I'm debating. No, oh, there was still a piece <laughs> on my tongue. It's in my throat. It won't go down. <laughs> I don't know it's if I. I think it was its legs. eyeball. It's I think it was sick. its eyeball. I felt it. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I'm eating oh God, for the rest I cannot of the day do. after. <laughs> okay. Okay. The aftertaste Fantastic. is better than the initial. Is your nose? Hey, you look. There's a bead of sweat. I mean. At least you didn't get the man. I tell you what. I would eat rather eat the bugs than than the ghost pepper or the tofu. No, I was really scared, really about all of them. That was just a little crunch. All in, I'm not dying. So. <laughs> Fantastic. That was a nice crunch. <laughs> I hope I hope you can pick it up. I think I was expecting it to be that loud. That's um that is for certain. It was a loud crunch. I mean, you all heard it from behind the oh. camera there. Oh. People, humans, Woodford Countyans, that wraps up part three. All right, we're gonna do part four with Miss Madison uh, next week. Uh, stick around. Uh, oh, I wonder. I wonder what she's gonna choose. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Until next time. Bugs again. So uh, those bugs, man. The, the, the great. Uh, it's amazing how great willing people there. are for that. Yeah, I mean the nutrients. I well, hear, they weren't know? ready. Like Jen, like she was like, "Oh, I thought we were gonna do like ketchup on a pa- on a pancake." You know, like, no, nah, <laughs> yeah. come on. Who's gonna tune in to ketchup That's on not a how pancake? We roll here. She knows how we roll. Some What's people, it? yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> they, she knows how we roll. Some people uh, probably like ketchup on a pancake, though. Mm. You think? You know, there's someone out there. There's, you know, there are ketchup fanatics. I think it would exist, don't you think? That is kind of gross. That does give me a lump. Just thinking, I know. Like actually sitting and thinking about it. Ugh, yeah. But no, I still tell you, I would much rather eat the bugs than probably than anything else. Yeah. T- I do not want to eat that tofu. I do not want to have the the pepper. But I you, want the bugs. You know what? Massive amounts of ketchup remind me of Corey. The uh, what? Kids like yeah. Kids love ketchup. I was gonna say Big know? Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy. You remember when he has that when he eats all the ketchup and he spits down Ooh. and he sucks it back up. <laughs> I, th- I think about a cafeteria because kids like douse things in um in ketchup. So what yes. we're talking about though is the first day of school because guys, it has happened. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's well, it's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But for you, it might as well because you're gonna be. I'm in a different world. So you're, I'm you're gonna be in a different world. Uh, August twelfth. I guess. The, I guess administration has kind of started back. Oh with yeah, 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 yeah. Development and all that. So it's in the works. But the official first day of school is this week. Yes. Yes. Uh, we're. Lo- my daughter's looking forward to it. She's super excited about going back. We have our open house coming up. But there's nothing like, like those first day of school picks. Those are the ones you keep, you put in a slideshow, and you play all the way. And when they graduate, 
Uh, so we want to we want to do something. I mentioned it last week, but we want to do something with that, Emily. Yeah. Right. But the catch is, you have to join our private Facebook group. You, have you to, just post it. Yeah. Yeah. Jo- to- join. Well, you join, join and then post your kids. First day of pick. First day of pick. <laughs> first day of pick. That too. <laughs> Where's the wine? Uh, for your, your first your first day pictures. Post your children's first day pictures. Um, cute, funny, whatever it is. Uh, post it in there. Your name goes into a hat. Mm-hmm. For the proverbial hat. We're going to draw out of there. Winner gets a, I don't know, $50 gift card? Yeah, let's do it. Just a straight up Visa gift card? Straight up? No. Um, to Kroger? V- v- yeah, Visa takes a portion. And I don't like that. It does? So, sorry if they're watching, but... Um, yeah, they, they take a portion of it. Well, we don't want that. We want you like to have that. all of it. Yeah, we want you to have all of it. So we will, let's do something like a Kroger or something like that. That's perfect because okay. you need that because I know I need that because these kids are going to go through their lunch snacks and their snacks real fast. That's right. So let's just do Kroger. Okay, let's do it. I love it. Name the hat, pop, throw it out, But Kroger. if you have funny throwback first day of school oh, pics yeah. from you two, by all means, post them the funnier but anyway cute ones too we want to see all the cute you have an animal that you put into you know we're, we're, gets into it, we're not trying to const- we want it just it could be your first day for adult back in yes you're right it could be any first day of uh, a school pick so we just want to see them i'll throw mine up there if yeah. you can find yours you got to send it to we'll me look for ours too. we'll we'll post it on there but that's exciting cool yeah love it I, I let's just keep this exciting ball rolling and uh, for why not? Why not? Why not uh, go out to Wildside Winery, experience their their whole campus here of just uh, of, of live music, wine, berry picking, experiences, events, tastings. They have why not? merch. We all know they got the merch. They got the merch. They got the good merch. Go out there. Ask for the for the t-shirts. I love it. Soft tea. Love Can't it. Beat Soft it. teas. I can feel it. It's in my veins. And not not it. just the wine, <laughs> but the music is in my I veins. Oh, I know. There's nothing better. Outdoor live music. And of course, look for their Harvest Market because um, Alicia has great events out at the Wild Side Winery mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, venue. And you can do your own events. I'm actually helping host a private event out there in October. Oh. I'm super excited about They have a great pavilion for that. A private event. Yeah. Um, but the Harvest Market is coming up this fall. Um, and then, of course, they have Sangria Sundays once a month. Oh, They're still gosh. doing that. Um, which is coming up so lots of great events check them out on their facebook page and if you haven't been berry picking out there um you pick berries and then half i think it's a portion yeah half go to them and half you can keep yeah. so a fun family-friendly activity as well get that in you know before school starts uh that's what we're kind of doing, kind of uh, having some fun and, and trying to get in some things before you know that that school because once you get to school you know, it's boom, 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 boom. it's that um that it routine, fast. it yeah. goes fast. Yeah. Uh, they got salsa in the vines coming up August fifteenth. I mean, yeah, the Rat Pack August twenty first. That's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. Let me click on that. The the Rat Pack. I, th- I think of. Um, I think yeah. Uh, uh, oh wow, it is. So the Rat Pack. It's Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> nice. Love it. That's gonna be uh, such a great event. Charcuterie, charcuterie. <laughs> uh, they got all the stuff going on out there, guys. That's and you know we always talk about words that trip people up. That's a, that's a hard one. Sometimes you hear people trying to pronounce yeah. it. Yeah, I always think of just Jap- like a Japanese like move like charcuterie. Yeah, <laughs> like I just think of, I think of that. Uh, yeah, the the harvest market, Christmas market, guys. If you're a vendor, oh, I mean, yeah. Come on. So check it out. Go to their Wild Side Winery Facebook page mm-hmm. and like, and then your tickets to any of that that you want. Some are free. Some are ticketed. Some are not. So just check it out. Yeah. And you can figure out what's what. Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. What also is, is, is free is this information that we're, that we're giving you right now with Ask the, the expert. Experts. I had to say that because I, 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 I ask the experts. Like I, know, I said, right? it all See? rolls into one. Yeah. Ask the experts we gotta this is our second week from our brand new expert she is my expert holly does my hair personally um, oh yeah you know personally recommend her Mm -hmm. uh, moxie salon downtown for sales um but yeah i love brett too so should we just check it out see what they gotta say let's check them out let's see what they gotta say 
What's up, Woodford? We're gonna do our functional exercise number two today, which is our wall sit, okay? Uh, basically, this is an isometric exercise. Again, it's working on stabilization and balance. It's also working on the endurance of your quadriceps and hamstring muscles, which will help you go up and down stairs and keeping your balance in everyday living activities, okay? So the first part of this is just your simple wall sit that you can do at home. Obviously, find a stable wall. You want to keep your back straight and your knees at a 90 degree angle. You do not want to go past 90 degrees and you also do not want your knee in front of your toe. Thank you very much, Ashley. The progression to this, if this starts getting easy, Corey, let me get that behind you real quick, sorry, is to put something behind you that's uneven and then do the same thing. What I usually tell my clients is to sit here, start out with 10 seconds, upgrade to 20, and then upgrade to 30. Other than that, you can do three sets. I like to mix it up uh, every other day if you want to start with this for a two week regimen. Hi, I'm Holly at Moxie in the heart of downtown Versailles, and today we're gonna pump up the volume. So the first thing we're gonna do is decide where you want the volume. More often than not, it's in the crown and right on the sides of the head for balance. So we're gonna section that off in a horseshoe pattern right around the head, right above the temple. Um, depending on where that starts for each person, then part that off. Um, there are several different ways to get volume. Today, I'm gonna start with putting a little product in that area. Um, I like to use a product called Ultra Volume Dust Up. And we hold that out, put it right at the scalp, just kind of tap it all the way around in that horseshoe. It doesn't have to be neat. Um, and this is for you to do at home, so, you know, customize it to your needs. Um, and then just kind of work it in with your fingers like this. Make it messy. And the reason we do it underneath is because when we drop that top down, it's gonna be smoother and you won't see um, what's under here, which is what can, which can look a little tangly at times. So um, then we're just gonna toss it out, plump her up. How's she look? There's some volume, right? I love it. Love it. And also on our private group, uh, if you tune in, if you join there uh, and you and you follow that, we're gonna start getting some little extra, little extra stuff you can't see on the show or right. what we post. Uh, little extra tidbits, little extra stuff. So uh, tune into there to, You'll know to when see we're going what it live. is. It'll be fun. That's right. Yeah. But you probably need to get current. You're you're next. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. We flipped it. See? We flipped it. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> do that again. Do it again. But, what is it? You sure do? You sure do? Yeah. You sure do? <laughs> I sure do. Um, I love how your face like tells me the time to go. Uh, okay. So, guys, we have um, – they're still looking for nursery positions. So, they are hiring. Um, and they do hire high school students. And, of course, some are in the morning, but some are evening shifts. So, it's great if you are going to school. Yeah. I saw somebody post on Voices of Versailles the other day about, you know, where can high school students get um, a job, and Falling Springs is a great opportunity for that. So, um, nursery positions, morning and mm -hmm. evening shifts. Um, We're trying to get that private group. That way you can come on our group yeah. and ask that same question, question. and you get answers. answers. Yeah answers immediately mm -hmm. um registration is um open for the kids triathlon so sponsored by crossroads vet clinic that is uh race day is august 21st so that's gonna okay. be a lot of yep. fun it's coming up uh-huh um of course they again have flag football smart start soccer returns mm -hmm. for three and four year olds that actually the deadline is august 12th so that's this week so check that out 
um, NFL flag football, um, middle school, kindergarten through middle mm-hmm. school division. The deadline to sign up is August 29th. So you have a little bit of time, but not much because that's still this month. Um, yeah. And then, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. But make sure you check out that triathlon, that kids try yeah. um, that's coming up. I think that is going to be so, so fun. That will be fun. And I may keep mention, meaning to mention this. You know, when I edit the show, I put, you know, we just showed all the pictures of the kids, the participants. Stuff. Th- th- those kids are so cute. Uh, the, and um, that, that we that we cycle every week, and uh, I'm just so happy that uh, you know we have Falling Springs, the Parks and Rec that have activities uh, for for our kids to go out and, and do. I mean, it's yes. I mean, not a lot of communities you can have, have that, have that and, and, and it's that, just really cool. Um, you know that that kind of state of the art facility too is really really nice. We're very lucky. Mm-hmm. Very, very lucky. Um, they have, um, of course, the splash pad will be open to Labor Day. So you still have a lot of hot days in August. So if you're, you know, looking for something fun to do before the kids go back this week mm-hmm. or, you know, an after school activity, um, still check out their outdoor pool. It's, it won't close until Labor Day. Um, and then also I wanted to mention we are doing a town hall event with Parks and Recreation. Um, so it is going to be August 27th at noon via Zoom. Stacy Thurman is our moderator from the Woodford County Library. Really Stacey. exciting panel um, yep. that's going to talk about all the things park and re- parks and recreation. So definitely tune tune into that um, August twenty seventh. You know this is great. It's a great opportunity just to be in the know and be, get educated on what's going on around here. Um, you know, there's really no excuse. Uh, I feel like nowadays to to not be you know or have the opportunity to be informed and and be involved. I mean that yeah. you know it's very easy. So sweet. Sweet. Huge. I'm, I, feel, I feel current. I feel up to date. You are. You're an you're expert now and you're current. You're all the things, Corey. You know, I, I'm, I've, I've, had a lot, I've had a lot of jobs in my life. You really have. I, I've had a lot of jobs. Um, you have a job rap sheet. I do. Like I don't feel like I'm 40. an expert necessarily because uh, it's hard. I mean, I'm, I'm humble. But I am an expert in eating tacos. You know, I, I, I will classify crush. myself. I can't do a lot. <laughs> I'm not even a jack of all trades, you know? <laughs> Expert in none. Yeah. But jack of all trades. Oh, I'm not even that. But I'll tell you, I can I can knock back a taco. You, you, can, you can put away some tacos. I can, put, I, can put, I, can, I can judge a good taco. So She's back. Don't let me fool you. Emily's back. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> one five weekends. Is bring in the taco trail. Oh, do, do uh, an announcer voice for that. Uh, uh, wait, what is it? What am I saying? It bring, it's Line. bringing the taco trail. Is bringing the taco trail to you. <laughs> Sunday! I don't know, I just, that's, that's what they say on the, on the <laughs> No, show. guys, it is yeah. happening now. It's August, happening now. So it started August 5th, but it's going to the 15th. We're getting two weekends in. That's what's the Taco mm-hmm. Trail. So we want you to take a ride on the Taco Trail. We have so many really, really yummy traits. Um, mm-hmm. Corey's going to put up the graphics so you guys can see yep. everything. We have some cool videos, um, but we have you know places in Midway that are participating yep. in the Midway Bakery. They always participate with something so fun. Yeah, they're cool. The Amps and Bourbon Bar has a, like an awesome margarita. Oh, oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> and then of course all the food choices too. Um, so definitely check it out. I encourage you to try something new. If you're watching this and you're not from Woodford County, come here, come visit us, try it out. Callie's has a one day special. Only um, like less than seven bucks, I think, for her taco special on August 12th. So definitely check it out because there are days when certain things are, you yeah. know, the day for that. Um, but others are going through the whole time. I mean, we're talking like so wh- some. I want to know, where do I go to, to, to keep, I mean, obviously us. Yep. Obviously, but Reserve Woodford, Reserve right? Reserve Woodford. You're constantly our Facebook stuff out there. and our website have it on there. So check okay. it out because it's got all the details. Kill. Kill. Do you want to? Do you want to? What video? Do, do you want to just start off? Because we start let's the do, highlight. Let's do our. Oh, okay, so we got, we've already done our highlight. Yeah. Let's do the uh, talky era video. Let's just start. That was the first one to, to shoot. We shot that back at um, uh, Cinco, Cinco de, de Mayo. Mayo. So let's let's show that one. That's perfect. Tucker and Becerra, um, it is family based. My brother, he's running around with me. My mom and my dad are inside. All the tortillas are made by hand, so, you know, anywhere that you go, it probably isn't going to be, you know, homemade, uh, made with love by my mom. So that sets us apart from everywhere else. Uh, the experience, you know, everybody is, we're all friends with all of our customers. We become family, uh, we know everyone. 
you know, you come in, you sit down, you get comfortable. We already know your usual, so you don't even have to tell us. We already know. Um, but yeah, that's that's what sets us apart from everyone else. I would say. I mean, yum, right? That's all you gotta say. It's just something up. <laughs> yum, yum, yes. <laughs> um, um, I love it. I love taco. Love, love the taco trail. But there's more where that came from. So oh, that's, I that's only a tease. I need to get taco. I need to go get a taco and eat it on because that's what everybody wants to see, right? Yeah. Me just sitting here just <laughs> eating a taco and not being able to talk because yeah. you gotta. Be so <laughs> you know, yeah. this what's up. <laughs> Are we doing okay? So uh, move, moving, moving right along here to we're coming from full circle here to the business circle. That creeps me out every time. Hundred percent. Business 100%. circle. <laughs> business circle. There you go. Bring that. Bring yes, energy. the business circle. Ooh, that's this kinda, week I kind of like that. Actually. I like that we, too. We, may, we may switch it to yeah, the very professional superhero voice. Um, this week, guys, we helped to celebrate a new business in Woodford County. I absolutely love this. Again, it is a personal. Uh, it's not personal to me. My, mm-hmm. uh, I have a child that goes to speech therapy. Nothing wrong with it. Everybody, mm-hmm. you know, got to be the best ver- version of themselves. I have a niece that um, goes. That she does PT at pediatric and speech therapy. Um, this this local Woodford County and has come back to use her time and talents here. She is the first outpatient clinic with speech therapy. So they do speech therapy through the school system. But if you just need a private person like your pediat, your pediatrician has recommended you to somebody, they're going to tell you to go outside of Woodford County. They're going to tell you to go to Lexington or somewhere else. Um, and this this gem of a business here mm-hmm. is so important. We need it. We need more pediatric services. This is just a start, hopefully, to seeing things come here. But check it out because Mickey Ginter is bringing us Woodford Kids. I'm going to see it. Hi, everybody, and welcome to yet another ribbon cutting, another celebration of a business opening right here in Woodford County. And the great news is this is a Woodford Countyan coming back again to use her time and talents right here for our community. I personally have experience using Mickey with my family. She is a wonderful therapist and is making great strides with my child. So I can personally recommend Mickey and the great work that she does here at Woodford Kids. It's right here on Frankfurt Street in the Deanna Ramsey building on the second floor. Um, And why this is so important, why I bring that up is we need more pediatric services here in Woodford County. And this is a great opportunity to take advantage so many Folks use pediatric services, um, and Mickey coming here to open up a practice is a huge deal for Woodford County for us to stay local, um, to be able to have that local convenience and service and expertise here. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our board chair of the Woodford County Chamber of Commerce, Austin Wingate. Well, thank you, Emily, and thank you, Mickey, for having us today. Congratulations, Emily. You're exactly right. It's an exciting day. We need more pediatric uh, services here in Woodford County. So I just want to encourage all of you that are listening, spend your dollars local, bring your children here, uh, give, your, give business to Mickey, don't, don't travel out of the county, support a good Woodford County and, and uh, spread the word for her. Without further ado, I will turn it over to Judge James K. Thank you, Austin. And today's a great day in Woodford County because we are open for business and we have a, another Woodford County owned business here in Woodford Kids serving the children of our community and I'm proud to bring my family here. It's a wonderful, wonderful place uh, to help your child develop. Uh, we opened up a, a another health care facility the other day in Woodford County so we're seeing the diversity of businesses open up and this one is very, very important because it serves the needs of our children and our families and we have a great proprietor here in Mickey who is a Woodford Countyan as Emily mentioned and so I will turn it over to Mickey who does a really wonderful job so come over here on Frankfurt Street come visit her and see if uh, can, can we get a, a shot of, of, of one of the beautiful children we have here today for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. So, uh, Woodford County, without further ado, here is our Woodford Kids owner, Mickey. Mickey, thank you. Thank you. So, hi everybody. I'm Mickey Ginter. I'm actually a speech-language pathologist, and I love working with our little kids. 
Um, I also have a part-time pediatric uh, physical therapist on board with me too, so we get to work with our birth to however old we need to go. I know school's getting ready to start soon. There's lots of questions going on, so we are here. We're glad to be a part of Woodford County and to support our Woodford County families, our kids, and just being present here as the first outpatient pediatric clinic in Woodford County. And I'm super excited and really grateful to the chamber and everybody here today, just being a part and getting the word out just so everybody knows that we're gonna be here. Perfect. Mickey, before we do the ribbon cutting and the celebrations, I always like to share with folks, how do they get in touch with you and kind of what do they need if, if they think their child needs services? You were recommended to me by the Woodford County School System, mm -hmm. um, so you come recommended highly from other professionals, um, but how does somebody get started in this process? So it's really easy to get a hold of us. We are, our website is literally www.woodfordkids.com. Pretty simple, really related to the business. Um, and you can get our phone number there. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. All of our information is on any of those areas as far as our website and our phone number and our address. So just give us a call. Perfect, she's very accessible. And like I said, I personally recommend her and use her. Um, so if you need a personal recommendation, I'm happy to um, give my seal of approval on that for sure. So Mickey, without further ado, I'm gonna give you the celebratory scissors. Awesome. Anybody wants to come in to help Mickey celebrate? Mickey's mom and Kelly, <laughs> Jerry. Love the family involved. Yes, everybody <laughs> come, come in guys. All right, we're gonna count on three. Um, Mickey will do the honors here, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you guys it's an so exciting much. day. Please follow Mickey on Facebook um, and visit her website. Give her a call if you need these services. What a wonderful day it is in Woodford County uh, to help Mickey and to support local business. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Love those ribbon cuttings. They're so fun. They're so fun, and they just, I mean, the fact that the, ch I mean, we're doing it every, I mean, sometimes twice a week. week. Yeah, I mean, we had three last week. And it's for the cheerin. That's right, for the cheer you, you cheerin. Can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you <laughs> can't, that's the best. That's the, I, I love, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, they really are our future, so it's so great. Yeah. We have the services here to help give them what they need. It's one of those things that, you know, people don't, you know, people don't realize that you need in a community uh, yes, we want restaurants, we want places to go and have fun, we want all these different things, but what really keeps pe brings people in and keeps people here uh, is the amenities like that, it, it, or the or the Yeah, healthcare when you have and, to and do everything, uh, we had two healthcare last week, which is really important. Yeah. We also had you know a, a new pain management doctor who, again, is doing um, alternatives to opioids, yeah, which is uh, huge, cancer yeah. pain management, I mean, all uh, migraine, mm -hmm. um, all kinds of things. Um, but it, but alternatives where that's not you're you're trying to eradicate opioid yeah. pandemic and epidemic that we're going it's, through. It's that kind of thinking that that helps us out. Yeah. So that's I, I love it. Community love it together. That's right. Business circle. Ooh, business I think circle. I think I'm gonna go. I think I think it's changed. What do you guys think? think Official. I, you think I should go business circle? Maybe just drop we'll, this all together. We'll yeah, we'll do it on the story, and I want them to vote. Okay. We'll do the poll. We'll do the vote. We'll do, okay. we'll do the poll. The poll. We'll cut that and make it a, a pole. Oot and a boot. Oot and a boot. Uh, brought to you by Rector Hayden for Sales and Republic State Mortgage, Becky Baldwin. Baldwin. Uh, we're so thankful for the for those sponsors bringing you this uh, this segment here. It allows us to go out and uh, and uh, see the community, see new businesses, events, whatever it is that bring the, the, them to you, which we're so passionate you. about. Yes. And this one, actually, you should recognize, right? Yes. Because we just had it as a ribbon cutting the we other did. day. We yeah. did, yes. Yeah. Um, but she, again, okay, so another story of a great Woodford Countyan who is so talented, um, mm -hmm. coming back, using her time and talents here. She's opened up a practice, which can be risky. So, guys, I want to say kudos, A, for doing it, but B, support these people so much because they need it. So she likens her practice to a med spa. The spa, she kind of, you know, uh, that piece of it, she um, 
Yeah. Because she is medical. She uh, recommends other local folks like Skin Boutique by Kaylin, mm-hmm. which we love here on the show. Um, so th- that's it's just a wonderful partnership, a wonderful person that's doing great things. And she's going to – but she'll she'll tell you better about her practice than I can. Yeah, I try to I, – I, I got kind of thrown on me. I wasn't ready. <laughs> but uh, uh, Emily opted out, which is great because I need practice. So uh, hopefully I could be as good as Emily uh, oh, with gosh. these out and abouts. But uh, let's women just naturally ask more questions. We're just interrogators, I think, <laughs> by nature. Yeah, that's yeah. We just want to know. What's more, 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 more. But guys, uh, man, dude, dude, uh, it, it, we're not gonna have you next week. No, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure you'll have a, another guest host. Yes, they we, will carry the water because I love who's up first. Yeah, yeah. Alicia's up first uh, for next week, and uh, man, just congratulations if I don't talk to you or see you. Um, just, I don't know. I just, I love you, man. Oh, I love you too, Corey. Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Corey, I'll send him a picture so he can share with you guys when the baby's born. Yes, that'd be great. And And uh, make sure you're in full makeup and your hair is done. (laughs) I'll be done. (laughs) Um, But don't forget, submit your first day of school pics. Yes. And uh, I'll share if any news happens between next week too. Oh. Bye, guys. guys. Bye, Emily. I will see you soon. Uh, Guys, we're still going to be here, though. We have a lot of great guests coming up. First up, like I said, is is Alicia Holt from Wildside Winery. Uh, See you later. See you next time. Well, not next time. See you soon. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, everybody. And uh, I know it's kind of weird that Emily's not standing here, but we're making things, getting getting ready. She's she's getting ready to have uh, this bebe. So uh, I, I need to sit in. I need, I need to get more practice on this. All right, Haven? Everybody, uh, this is Haven Andrews here. We are at Mind and Body Wellness, okay? And uh, I'm going to really just say this is an amazing place you got here. You've done very well. Yeah. She was before we were recording. She was telling me that she did this wall herself. So if you need any wallpaper <laughs> or signs done, uh, don't call me. <laughs> don't call her. Uh, Thank you very much for, for having us, yes. uh, Haven. Do you want to tell everybody kind of what, I mean, mind, body, and wellness, I mean, that kind of explains it almost, mm-hmm. right? Tell me yeah. a little bit about what, what you do here. Okay, so I have been a nurse practitioner for seven years now. Before that, my background was ER nursing. Oh, wow. Okay. I have managed um, the little clinics in Versailles and Frankfurt for oh. the whole time that I've been an MP. And that's where I've seen you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be on the big screen TV as my face, uh, and my kids would be like, Mom, look, I'm like, I'm famous. Yeah, I, I'm a six year old, so <laughs> it, she's perma sick. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I have been doing aesthetics now for a year of that seven years, and it's so much fun. Mm-hmm. It's more fun to make people feel better, not just with antibiotics, but sure. um, yeah. aesthetically love their face and regain self-confidence and feel better about themselves and that's kind of the whole thing behind mind and body I'm also a psych MP and so I understand that side of things I know I love school I love to learn I love it so so it's not just you just wake up one morning you're like I'll do this like you have gone to school you've done you've done all this stuff so you and plus I mean come on forget about it you're from Woodford County so that's that's a that's a double hitter right Mm -hmm. there I mean you've got and I love that it's like booming and growing and it's yeah. very exciting. It's crazy. It's like every time you turn around in the business circle, we've got a, uh, we've got a ribbon cutting. Yeah. Uh, yours, you were just on the show. That's how I go for, for years. Yes. So you alluded a little bit to what your, your know, services and stuff, but a little bit more detail maybe, um, you know, uh, do, you, do you do like Botox? Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so we do neurotoxins. Yes. While you're here. Yeah. Just a little... Oh gosh. Don't tell me. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, oh, don't. Uh, Nobody will notice. You'll yeah. just come in looking really well slept and refreshed. She had me cupped the, oh. and, and uh, acupuncture the last refreshed, time. Refreshed, I'm yeah. sure, refreshed. Yeah. So, yes, we do neurotoxins like Botox, Dysport, um, dermal fillers, yeah. Juvederm, Restylane. We do chemical peels, um, Ooh, now massage that therapy. Yeah. We are continuing to grow and add services. The next three months, we'll have IV nutrition, which is huge on the whole body. It also helps with skin, immune immune system, and then also microneedling will be added in the near future as well. Fantastic. Maybe hey, please tell us exactly where you can find you. At 202 Frankfurt Street. Okay. Um, right next to the Equine Pharmacy and Health Family Counseling, that's sandwiched easy. right in the middle. That's, that's, that's easy peasy. Yeah. Right off, what is this, 60? Yeah. I don't know numbers. Frankfurt Street. 
There you go. Yeah. Sixties on the other side. Don't go that side. Too much traffic. Yeah. Well, I mean, is there anything else you want to let the let the viewers know? I mean, I feel like we've got what you I mean, what you do, your background. I mean, you're from Woodford County. I mean, we're just knocking it off here. I mean, um, so if you want to schedule a free consultation, that's completely fine. I know a lot of this is new to people, at least in this area. Ah. So, um, if you're not sure on what you think you may need or have questions, schedule a free consultation, and we can talk about it. No pressure. We'll just talk. Um, and so, yes, you can reach me. My phone number is listed. I have a mm -hmm. Facebook business page. Our website will be launched in the next week. Okay. So. I did this because. It's full circle. The information, well, the information is below us. You can't see it, but right. I'm going to edit it in the video. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's no reason, no uh, reason not to, to contact you yes. for any of these. Yeah. Here in Woodford County, which is where, which is where the home is. The growth is happening. Mind and body wellness. Yes. Perfect. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. This this concludes our out and about. I don't know how do I do A B C. That was at least an A, an A. An A. a you were gonna say minus. You were gonna say A minus. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the A minus. That's fine. Oh, uh, Emily, please come back. See everybody.